फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट इज द वेरी बैकबोन ऑफ एनी स्ट्रेटजी एम्ड एट अचीविंग हायर ग्रोथ एंड लार्ज स्केल इंप्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन हाव एवर एन अनफॉर्चुनेट इंप्रेशन गेंड ग्राउंड आफ्टर द फस्ट फेज ऑफ लिबरलाइजेशन दैट द गवर्नमेंट विल हैव लेस एंड लेस टू डू विद इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट एज ए रिजल्ट अ स्लो डाउन हैज टेकन प्लेस इन इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन दिस वाइटल एरिया ऑफ द इकोनमी माई गवर्नमेंट विल सबस्टेंशियली इनक्रीज इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट साइमल्टेनियसली प्राइवेट सेक्टर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स विल रिसीव फार ग्रेटर पॉलिसी एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सपोर्ट The Minister for Power has just recently announced wide-ranging initiatives on the power front. My government will take firm decisions and also support firm decisions of state governments to bring financial viability to the power sector. The state electricity boards are bankrupt. and need restructuring the drain on internally raised resources has to stop in this regard the country should take note of the bold but painful steps the andhra pradesh chief minister has taken to guard and raise the viability of power generation and distribution in his state we also support in this regard the initiatives of the odisha government delays in implementation have been the bane of infrastructure projects in india they have led to not only cost and time overruns but also loss of opportunities in downstream income and employment generation this neglect and waste will be positively addressed towards this end the prime minister's office will directly monitor all projects capitalized at more than rupees 100 crore each in the areas of power roads bridges and dams irrigation telecommunication oil and energy railways ports and airports my office will seek a monthly progress report on all such projects and ensure that they are completed and commissioned on due dates agriculture is the very heart of our economy and culture farm production has to reach a growth rate of at least 5% otherwise our goals of overall economic growth and employment generation as also our promise to build a hunger free india by the year 2010 will remain unfulfilled food security on a long term basis is our urgent and immediate concern government plans to earmark substantial plan funds for public investment in agriculture rural development irrigation horticulture afforestation wasteland development and related rural infrastructure we will also pay special attention to the modernization of the agro processing industry it has 
immense potential for employment generation in the country now agro processing industry provides a critical link between the agriculturist and the urban consumer we will strengthen this link among other things by encouraging collaboration between the cooperative agriculture sector and the corporate sector opportunities in exports of food products will be vigorously pursued we intend to give vastly higher policy attention to the small scale industry and bhagidari sector as these are important sources of self employment this sector makes the highest contribution to the country's gdp my government will welcome suggestions from the cii and other industry organizations as how to provide to this sector critical developmental inputs such as easy adequate and timely credit marketing infrastructure and appropriate technology housing and construction are the greater generators of productive employment next only to agriculture and services the national agenda for governance has pledged to facilitate construction of 2 million new housing units each year with priority for low and middle income family needs within the next 60 days my government will unveil a national housing policy all impediments in the realization of our stated goals in the policy will be removed forthwith the urban land ceiling act will be suitably amended to facilitate realization of housing goals and to boost construction information technology is an area of special importance it has already revolutionized the world no country can hope to develop global competitiveness if it ignores information technology this is one area where india can quickly establish global dominance india can be fully competitive in this area with tremendous payoffs in terms of income generation and creation of high quality jobs this area also provides an alternative and attainable opportunity to indian business and industry to become software czars just three indian companies not exactly household names have today a market capitalization of rupees 13000 crores and all are also aggressively exporting in this connection i invite specific suggestions from trade and industry for removing any bottlenecks in the way of faster growth of the infotech industry in the national agenda we have pledged to make india a software software super power within the next 30 days we will set up a national information technology task force which will formulate a draft national informatics policy the government will initiate immediate steps to effect reforms in the public sector these will embrace the whole gamut of imaginative restructuring including transparent 
disinvestment and reducing PSU losses. Indian industry must improve its global competitiveness and strengthen its export muscle. We cannot succeed in Swadeshi development if we do not export. The new Exim policy seeks to provide special support to our exporters as such. Stop.